Welcome to the No Sin Zone. I'm your host of hosts, Mrs. Betty Bowers. When it comes to sex, tonight we're going to do the most vile, disgusting thing imaginable to my fellow Republicans. We're going to talk about it. Our first wanton sinner, line one. Hey, Betty, just how personal you get with that personal savior. <laughs> As I've told Jesus countless times, I'm a lady, you're a trinity, I don't go for four ways, mister. Hello, despicable sinner, oh, line seven. Betty, do you think the Lord turns a blind eye when a gal previews the rapture? with a ginormous purple vibrator. <gasps> Darling, if you want an orgasm from plastic, get an American Express black card. Trust me, you'll never go back. Hello, sinner calling from Utah. Someone's going to have a seamless transition into hell. Mrs. Bowers, are you for same-sex marriage? Absolutely. Changes in positions are for harlots and politicians, and they leave footprints on the headboard. If Americans crave novelty, they should do what Jesus told them to do for a change. Welcome, unsafe trash line two. A little bit, this is Jesus. You know what I want to talk about? America and her materialistic, warmongering corruption of my words. Not a, and that again. What a scold. Next caller. My child just read the Bible verse about some nasty who was donkey dick Egyptians that squirted in her face like they had horse between their legs. Made me want to vomit. I never realized I had hardcore pornography lying around the house. How dare you recite from the Bible? This is a family program. And that is a perfect example why the Lord's bestseller is simply not Christian enough for a Christian home. Let's be honest. If God hadn't written it, we'd be trying to keep it out of public libraries, not into public schools. Call it from a sad little country that isn't America. In your traditional marriage video, you point out that Adam and Eve only had grandchildren because some sick perv shagged a relative. Why would Jehovah come up with such an odious way to start a family? What part of created in his image do you foreign trash not understand, dear? You think God's design for the first human family was kinky? Just look at the way he started his own. God slept with Mary to have Jesus, but God is Jesus, so Jesus had sex with his own mother to conceive himself. Try running the DNA on that crime scene. Next hellbound caller. Elizabeth, this is Jesus again. I'm still waiting. And so are we, dear. 2,000 years, a few minutes won't kill you. And if it does, you'll be back in three days, no biggie. Next caller. Praise God, sister in Christ, for your bash ministry. Because Satan is everywhere, tempting straight men like me. But I rebuke you, hot crotches and Mr. Belzebub, because my Savior was hung on a cross, not in his pants. Oh, my God, that is a huge ruiner. Oh, girl, it's a bubble Hail you. Mary! Lesser Christians interpret this passage to mean men should not have sex with other men. Rubbish! What God said was don't lie with men like you lie with women. Don't fib about reciprocity when you're just a big old bossy bottom. For truly, the way men lie about sex with man and womankind is an abomination. Next salacious caller. I am weak, but granny tranny, eunuch flesh. How do I become righteous in good life? Be careful what you wish for, dear. When the Lord went on two of his many killing rampages, Noah and Lot were spared because they were righteous. And how did they celebrate? By getting vomiting drunk and naked. Noah shoved his penis in his son's faces. And with Lot, he aimed a little lower in his daughters. In other words, if you become righteous in God's eyes, be prepared to register with the police next time you move, dear. Appalling judge of character. Betty, my sweet hubby has a low sperm count. <laughs> Lucky you, nasty stuff. Next depraved sinner. Elizabeth Bowers, this is your Lord and Savior. Alloweth me to speaketh. Hark, thine call is very important to us. Please remaineth on the line, and your call will be answered in the order it was received. -eth. Elizabeth A. Bowers. Jesus H. Christ. I'm all for abstinence-only education, but lately I've become less concerned with what comes out of the mouths of high school teachers than what goes into them. And our last campaign to stop blabbermouths from telling kids sex happens led to unfortunate confusion and foul-smelling hosiery. That's why I've launched a new campaign with a more unequivocal message. Girls and some of you boys, if you want to spread your wings in heaven, you'd better not spread your legs in high school because true love waits. 
although I find opportunistic lust tends to be somewhat less patient. Remember, a Christian lady never does anything that leaves lipstick on a body part not seen in church.